Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die 1.0. We are starting off this morning here at Trader Jen's. Um, first of all, I just want to say really quickly, shout out to you. That's right, I'm talking to you. Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching, for subscribing, for liking, for leaving comments. I appreciate all of you so, so very much. We are closing in on 500 subscribers. So if you're here and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would. Um, also, if you like the video, leave a like because that would be super helpful. We're going to take this reward and then I think the goal today is going to be to do just as many quests for her as we can. I'm starting to think a little bit about Horde Knight, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some cobblestone from her like as a quest reward. And so, yeah, we're going to just jam out a bunch of quests. We'll start thinking about building a Horde base tomorrow. Of course, she immediately does not offer us cobblestone, but that's okay. We're going to take the crafting skill magazine bundle and then I'm going to sell her these items that I've been holding on to. There you go, girl. There you go. Okay, before we take a job, let's just take a peek at this. We got some armor mags, explosives, and some more forged ahead mags. So let's take a job. Let's see what we've got today. Ah, this is really good, actually. So we're going to probably end up doing... We're going to try to do as many of these as we can. We definitely want to do this one. Okay, let me tell you why we're going to be doing this tier 2 infested clear at the dead rooster. Because the horde base that we're going to be building for the day seven horde, like, it's, it, we're not trying to, like, break the world here. The, this is the only horde we're going to do in this biome. So my, my thought was to actually build a horde base on the side of that building. So I was going to have to clear it out anyway today. So, so now we'll do it and we'll get rewarded for it. We love it. Okay, I'll see you guys when I get there. We have made it to the dead rooster. This is such a great spot to build a horde base on. Like it's pretty strong and we're just gonna build like a really simple corridor style base and we'll, you know, build it off of the side of this building. Maybe the front of it? I don't know, we'll see. But first, of course, we're gonna do this quest. Look at that, we got a vehicle mag. We are working hard to get all of those that we can. We really need a wrench. I was looking at the workbench, right? We need to make a freaking workbench for so many reasons, right? Do, do we need a workbench to make a wrench? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, we do not need a workbench to make a wrench. In my head, I really thought I had to have a workbench to make that. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to run home really quick and make a wrench. And then we'll come back. Because I need mechanical parts to make a workbench... But I need a wrench, really, to get those. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, guys, the wrench is cooking. We can finally stop complaining about this freaking wrench. So we will... Oh my gosh, we're going to wrench the world down today is what we're going to do. <laughs> um, and then we'll get the parts that we need to make a freaking workbench. I think we only need four more auto magazines to get our mini bike as well. Because let me tell you... After taking that ride all the way from the uh, forest biome, I am ready to be done with the bicycle. I mean, I have appreciated it. I appreciate you, Purple Rain Bicycle, but I'm ready to be done with you. Okay, let's get in here and do this. It's going to be wild. Okay, we're crafting a few arrows, but we should be good for now. We are going to have to walk over this trash. I see a party girl. Is that a chicken? Nice. That's okay. You know what? Let's just go. Okay, who else is here? I see Party Girl, like I said. I see another chicken. Party Girl, I think we're gonna shoot you in the lower buttocks. You guys, let's just go. I deserve that. I deserve that. Everybody dead? Is everybody dead? Oh, oh, you did you fall from the ceiling? Yes. Catch on fire. Okay. Nice. Am I going to pick up every single one of these shares? 
Yes, I am. Okay, I see people on the roof struggling to get down here. We're going to let them do that. Is there another chicken in here? No. But there's some medicine. Okay, there was a medical magazine. Let's read it. Okay, let's go upstairs here. Oh, there we go. There goes the one that's banging. Wait, did we kill him? No, we did not kill him. We killed him this time. Give me all my arrows back. Thank you very much. I don't know that we've seen a hazmat zombie yet. Are you our first one? And you're like the OG hazmat. We love it. Okay, we gotta go up on the roof and figure out what's... Who is it banging on things up there? We're gonna just go ahead and... S mm, no, we'll keep it. We'll sell the pipe rifle. I was gonna scrap it, but we'll sell it instead. Oh, we found a retracting stock mod. That's nice. Oh, here we go. We got another one of these guys who I'm gonna shoot this time. Oh! Why would you crouch? No reason for that. Okay. Oh, no, I think the banging might be coming from outside. Okay. I know there's people out back. And then we've got... Come back here, chicken! Okay, that chicken tried to escape me. Let me close this door. Okay. Oh, they were all in the basement. Okay, great. The crawlers have made their way out of the basement. Okay. I think the last person out here is a dog. Yep, I knew there was a dog here. Um, uh, let's gun. Okay, look at that. We're done. Let's go grab the loot downstairs and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to grab all of these resources. And I'm going to wrench some things down with my wrench. It's going to be so great. Oh, wait a minute. Let me grab this chicken. We're going to grab all of the chickens down here. Oh, wait. Did the chickens escape? No. Come back, chickens. Come back. Okay, there's a chicken underneath there, but I'm not going down there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, this feels like the sign of an infection to come, but there you go. I need to eat something. Oh my gosh, guys, we found a helmet light mod. Let's go. And a nomad outfit, which gives us plus one carrying capacity and a blueberry pie. That was just amazing. Okay, let's do all the things here. Let's have light first of all let's wear you oh my gosh look at us we look like a real person we are still wearing sandals but what can you do oh my gosh goodbye primitive outfit we appreciated you while we had you um let's also put this double pocket mod here which means we've opened up three slots look at us looking formidable i love it and oh wait oh my gosh guys there's light look at that this chicken is trying to run for me. Ah! <laughs> Let me leave the chickens alone and see what else is going on here. I'm going to eat the pie. And let's break open this Savage Country box. I wonder if we find a Savage Country, if there's a better chance of finding, like, armor and stuff there. Uh, this is a knife guy. And let's grab the infested cache. Guys, look, it's a metal chain mod for our baseball bat. We just have to get a higher tier baseball bat. And that will come in handy. That reminds me, do I have any skill points to spend? Let's look. We have one. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's save it and then we'll put it into strength here. Okay, like I said, I'm going to wrench a few things down. I will see you guys once I am done. Okay, we made it back to Trader Jen's with our wrench in hand. 
Guys, I just rented down my first vehicle. Look at all of the goodness we found. We're gonna be able to make a workbench today. Oh, looks so good, girl. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. Do you not like my outfit? Well, what are you that talking didn't about? Take long. Nice work. Aha! Yay! Just as I thought, she is gonna offer us some cobblestone. We're gonna take it. That's really what we're gonna take all day today. <laughs> Uh, what else is she gonna give us? We've got the Motel 7. This passing cast is so far away. Or some buried supplies. Let's do the infested clear at the Motel 7. I will meet you guys there. Okay, we made it to the Motel 7. Woohoo! Um, look at all those resources. We're definitely gonna grab those before we hit this quest marker. Um, give me one moment to wrench down this car and grab all of these resources. Oh my gosh! Okay, guys, you know what I'm realizing is we have not checked our challenges menu in a while. So let's take a peek at that. Um, we've got XP just waiting. Uh, we placed a forge, so we'll say yes to that. We got, um, some XP for meeting Trader Jen and for opening our trade routes. We are almost done with some of these, like harvesting honey, but we got harvest mechanical parts and harvest electrical parts. What's going on over here? Ooh, what have we done? We entered the burnt forest and the wasteland by accident the other day, remember? Look at that, we got a skill point. And we have also survived for seven real life hours. We will take 2,500 XP for that. We love it. Okay, let's spend some skill points really quick. We were saving points so that we could put that next point into strength. So let's do it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's hit the marker and let's do that again. But first, let's kill the zombie. Oh, there's two of them. You know what? We should repair this. Give me one second, guys. I'm trying to repair my... Oh, there we go. Okay, both of them are down. Okay, let me grab these resources again. Okay, guys, that is enough of that. Let's get in here and... Is this an infested clear? Look at that, this vending machine works. Let's buy this eye candy. Yeah, let's buy it. We'll buy that skull crushers as well. What are we doing here? I think we're clearing the area right? Guys, it's been a while since I've done this place. Oh, wait a minute. We have a wrench now. That was so satisfying. I keep saying we're going to make some armor. We are going to do that tonight. Okay, let me stop wrenching and let's start knocking heads. Oh, hi. He's feral. Let's close this door as well. Can I have my arrow back? Okay. He is feral. I'm guessing we're gonna start seeing more ferals. Two ferals. Everybody's here and feral. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We're just gonna make our way outside. She's not feral. Our other feral is stuck behind the check-in desk back here. Okay. I think we got him. Woo! Guys, we have entered a new day. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I am so fascinated by this change in the game. Because I tell you what. I, th I think one of the reasons why I was always so excited to like play Darkness Falls, for example, was because it gave me back a little bit of fear, you know. But I'm fe I'm feeling I'm feeling the fear here in Vanilla, which is I'm kind of loving. Okay, I love this little cooler model. That was I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna grab these really quick. Um, what's about to occur down here that I'm not gonna like? Well, whatever it is, we'll, you know, if this is the end, then this is the end. Okay, well, that door opened, so that makes me feel a lot better. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, we found an armor mag. And another beer. We found a few beers. I'm gonna grab that. Wait a minute, there's a snake in this place. This is the place with the snake, isn't it? Like in one of these bathrooms or something. I have a vague memory of there being a snake. Okay, so we're not gonna be surprised when we see the snake, right? Aha! Tried to get me. Why is that an anaconda? Why is that snake so big? That is a big snake! Girl, you better give me like 20 meat. That was, no. That snake was too big for for that little meat. Um, okay, who are we missing? Let's go find them. Um, can you just come down here? <laughs> Yay! I just see this foot just sticking out from the roof here. How did I miss that when I jumped up there? That's so funny. Um, okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of sneak damage on Big Mama. Oh, there's a few of you in there. You know what? We're going to get the gun out for Big Mama. Yay! Okay, we did this a little backwards, but that's okay. We made it anyway. Uh, let's grab this here loot. Can we get over here without making the ceiling fall? And what's inside? Oh, we got a pocket mod. This is the one that makes us run faster, isn't it? Yes! We definitely love that. Let's eat these peas. We'll just grab all of this. Um, where can I put that mod? Can I put it on here? The pocket mod? I think I can. Oh, these athletic shoes means, look at us, we're no longer wearing our Jesus sandals. I love it. I love it. Um, let me eat these peas as well. And let's check out the infested cache. Uh, for lots of juicy, juicy ammo. Okay, let's go back to Trader Jen. I will see you guys back there. Okay, let's see. None of these rewards are very exciting. Uh, I'm always tempted to take the ammo. Uh, so let's just take that. And and then let's go ahead and take this passing gas job here. I know it's a little farther away, but my thought is hopefully we'll be able to get the magazines we need to make a mini bike. Okay, we are making some duct tape and then that is it. I think we finally have what we need to make a workbench. How long does this take? Six minutes? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna craft that in our inventory. Okay, let's go do this. This is an awful idea, but we're gonna go do it anyway. Okay, it looks like our Trader Jen has led us to another town um, and to her twin sister. Um, let's peek inside here um, and say hello to her. Mostly because I want to see what she's got for sale. Um, also, I just want to note that along the way I stopped and looted some vehicles and we found all of these goodies. Two vehicle mags. We love that. Let's go talk to her, but first let's, you know, grab a few things. What did we grab? We grabbed... This is Assault Rifles, Wiring 101, oh, we have a skill point, okay. And Pistol P Volume 1, 20% uh, more range when using a scope or iron sights. We would love a scope for our There's pistol. Something. Let's take a peek at what she's got in her inventory. Like, more than likely she's got a vehicle mag we could buy. 
Um, I'm going to buy these eggs. Because we have lots of meat at home. And we could use those to make more bacon and eggs. I'm going to buy this vehicle mag. And let's see. I want to take a look. Okay, she's got two electrical trap magazines. We might buy those. But I'm going to look and see where we are at with the... Oh! <gasps> Guys, uh, she has electric fence posts. We bought from her twin sister the other day. We bought a generator. Guys, we're going to have electricity on our first horde night. Let's go. I should buy at least four of them because I will accidentally accident something. And there you go. That's super business. exciting. Stay safe out there. Thanks, girl. We will. Um, Let's read the vehicle mag. Um, Let's take a peek at what's going on with the magazines here okay so vehicles we need one more magazine for the mini bike oh my gosh well, let's go do this job for her sister we'll put our workbench and our eggs and such in here and here we go oh i think th it's this passing gas right here look at that um let's double dip just a tiny bit oh this is exactly the place that we did the other day okay guys i'm just gonna hit this really quick first we're gonna kill this guy we literally did this place in the last episode so how about i just see you guys at the end loot unless something exciting and fun happens Ooh, that's exciting and fun. There we go, mini bike. We're gonna make a mini bike tonight, you guys. That's what we're gonna do. This is the last adventure on this bicycle. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Girl, who's making that noise? Why, I see ferals. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. You're a feral. Oh, we need a little running gun in our life. You're a feral too. Oh my gosh, Poppy. Okay, okay. Things got a little crazy there. We are infected. <laughs> oh my gosh we have broken bones we are <laughs> that was that was crazy that was crazy i'm assuming that means there's going to be more ferals inside great okay again we'll see you at the main loot this time we, we got this i just want to note that this time there's a dog Oh my gosh, guys, we finally did it. The nighttime bell just rang. Oh, we are in need of some medicine. Okay, there are zombies outside. We're not thinking about them. I'm just going to take this eye candy just because I've got it. Let's just take it and see. see what we can get. Okay, we found a forge magazine. I also, while I was looting, found this scrapping mag and this tool crafting uh, mag, which means... We can make better claw hammers. We love that. And what's here? Let's see. Ooh, this is another nomad outfit, which is the one that we have right now. Um, it looks like it's maybe a little bit better than the one we have. We also found the Ranger Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 6, which means bow is degrade 20% slower. We found some armor parts, some spam. I mean some sham. <laughs> Let's just grab what's in the infested cache as well. This, man, this place was full of feral zombies, man. It was wild. Um, scrapping for fun and oh, not the quality two wrench. We just made a wrench. And another tool crafting mag. Um, okay, that is us done in here. I'm going to sneak myself out here. I wanted to explore this town a little bit, but at least we know where it's at now. We can definitely come back and do that. Just because, yeah, this definitely looks bigger than the town we're in. Right now, we're going to go home. We're going to heal ourselves. Oh my gosh. And we're going to make a mini bike. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the house. 
Okay, guys, we made it back. The first thing we need to do is we need to heal ourselves. Let's take some herbal antibiotics. I think we have to take the painkillers for the concussion. On the way back, I found this magazine and this engine inside of a car. So let's read that and... Boom. Okay. Look at us, guys. Look at us. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a mini bike. Okay, give me a moment to get myself together. Okay, guys, look at that. That is the final piece that we need to craft the mini bike. One minute and 30 seconds. While that's crafting, um, I wanted to take a peek at... Like, where are we at with our tier twos? Oh, oh, okay. Actually, we've done quite a few tier twos. I think when we turn this in, that will then mean we've done 25 out of 30. So I think that means we have to do five more tier twos before we can move to the desert. Um, okay, that's good to know. Before we go tonight, let's look at making some armor, guys. I just don't even know what to make here. Now, I know there's, I think maybe it's the preacher gloves that give us, like, more damage, like, for the zombies, right? Is that what it is? I think it is. Let's see. Preacher gloves. Increase damage dealt to the undead. Yeah, I think we want to make these. So, let's take a peek at that. So, we just need two of these armor crafting kits and ten cloth. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I just made um, like six of these armor crafting kits, but I think the preacher gloves we can... Oh, we have to make them in the workbench. I was like, why will it not let me make it? I'm so confused. Okay, we're going to craft the level two version of that. Oh, look at that. Our mini bike is done. And let's see, that's going to give us plus 20% damage to the undead. So to all the zombies, we love it. Um, let's wear those. We were wearing these assassin gloves. Let's take the pocket mod off of that and we'll add it. We'll put it on the armor that we're currently wearing. We have officially moved into the mini bike era. No more, <laughs> no more stamina usage. Okay, yay to the mini bike. Um, what is the preacher set since we're gonna wear the gloves? You can't kick ass for the Lord if you're dead. That's hilarious. So this gives us a discount when we buy from the trader. The shoes give us a little a little help with abrasions and breaks. And then the outfit, what does that do for us? Reduces incoming damage. I'm wondering if maybe we shouldn't just make this entire outfit and wear that. Let me get myself together and we will make an outfit. Okay, guys, I think we have done it. I think we actually had enough to craft, to craft all of the pieces. <gasps> We're going to wear our first full set of armor today. Wait a minute. Let me put it on. Let me put it on. The nomad outfit was cute. And maybe we will come back to pieces of this. Um, oh, we've already got the gloves on. Oh, there goes the morning bell. Okay, look at that, guys. We got our first full set of armor and that gives us the preacher full set bonus. So a saint's comfort and security reduces the chance of critical injuries by 10% and infection chances by 10%. Lord knows we need that. So we got that full set bonus. Plus look at us. Look at us. We love it. Um, okay, so let me modify a few things. Hold on one second. I'm still going to hold on to the, the, the other pieces that we had just because I don't know. You never know. You never know. I want to upgrade this. Sorry, one second, and I'm going to give you guys. I wanted to upgrade one of those just because I wanted to see what it looked like. I love it. Okay, it's only appropriate that I show you guys the full outfit along with my wrench that I'm so excited to have. Thank you for joining me for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!